you know, like me, I'm sure that many of you are considered baby boomers, those of us that were born somewhere between 1945 and 1964. I thought it would be interesting to take a look at what some of the uh, baby boomer travel trends are for this year of 2019. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk travel, we talk accessories, we talk camera gear. If you're into any of that kind of stuff, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll know when we put up new stuff. So yeah, baby boomer travel trends. And I just happened to find this article on travelpulse.com and it's uh, discussing what people our age. Now, I assume that when I, having read this, that even if you're not a baby boomer, some of this stuff is going to really resonate with you. So hang in there. You'll see. Um, so in this, this recent survey, it was actually back in 2017, it said that of us bummer, bummers, <laughs> could be that too, boomers, uh, somewhere between around 50% of us are traveling just to relax. I kind of thought that was the purpose anyway, unless of course you're uh, traveling for business. I just kind of assumed that. So what are those trends? And this one, this first one really resonated with me because of, of Joe, my wife's interest in Ancestry.com. And it's called Ancestral Travel. Obviously, you're going, basically, all it means is you're going to particular locations, trying to connect with your roots, so to speak. One of the reasons we end up going to Northern France, to England, to Scotland, and in the future, Ireland, is because so much of that is tied into Joe's heritage. She is able to link her ancestry back to much of the royalty in those areas, as well as into Denmark uh, for the Vikings. So that ancestral travel thing is, is a is a big thing. Another travel trend for boomers, and I know this for a fact, it's not just boomers, is um, European river cruising. It's, it's become very, very big. There are a number of different cruise ship lines that run the rivers of, of Europe, and particularly, well, at any time. It's, it's a gorgeous way to see Europe. And I know that um, many of my fellow travel writers have done the uh, winter cruises and they've hit the Christmas markets along the way. I can understand why this has become such a popular um, way of traveling. A third um, trend is soft adventure. Not high risk mountain climbing kinds of things, but an ad, a, trips that have an adventurous component to them, but they're kind of on the, you know, more relaxed side, not high adrenaline necessarily. That might be white river rafting, it might be kayaking um, off the coast of Baja, you know, for whales. Uh, there's a variety of different things. So that soft adventure thing is a huge trend also. Naturally, exotic travel de destinations have become really very popular as well, but they're not necessarily the locations that you might can be thinking of. These are often the most, or, or, or not considered quite as touristy, Places like the Cook Islands or Montenegro, things like that that are newly emerging. So that's another tr a real big travel trend. And although this list goes on for a few more, I'm going to stop with something called immersion travel. We like to call it slow travel. Staying in one relatively 
compact area for a, a, an extended period of time, getting to know what it's really like and maybe even getting to know some of the people there a little bit, um, it, it really gives you a much better feel for the area that you're in if you can do that rather than bouncing all over Europe, you know, on an eight-day tour and if this is Tuesday, it must be Belgium kind of thing. You get a much better feel for for the people, for the culture, a little bit. It's Actually, it's a very enjoyable way to travel. Hey, if you like this kind of content, why don't you give us a thumbs up? Make it, leave a comment down below, add to the discussion, share this. Maybe you know somebody who's interested in, in travel. And of course, subscribe and click that bell icon. Thanks for stopping by. We do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.